Interactive cards are very similar to annotations on YouTube in that they help support your video's call to action. The one thing that they do differently, other than look different, is that they actually work on mobile devices. That's right, annotations don't. And that's what makes cards so important, because right now, 50% of YouTube's watch time comes from mobile devices. And if you want those mobile viewers to take action, then you better be using cards. So we're going to navigate over to our video manager in the Creator Studio, which is where we are now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a video and click this down arrow and click on cards. So let's set one up to give you a little better example. So let's say, so let's say right about here at the minute and seven mark, I want to have a card pop up for you to click on. I'll simply go to add a new card and much like annotations, we have a few different options. Create a card that promotes a video or a playlist, a channel, a fan funding page, or a link to an approved website. I'm going to go ahead and promote a video at this point. So I'm going to click create and you'll be prompted to pick a video for your card. I'm going to choose this Buzzfeed video here, but it's also important to note that you can enter a URL so you can feature a video that's not even yours, or you can click playlist and feature some of those playlists that we've been creating. I'm going to stick with that and click create card. Now when promoting a video or a playlist, all your work is done. That card is now there. Now at a minute and seven, boom, it expands here to show suggested BuzzFeed YouTube channel review. If I hover on that, you'll now see that link to a video. Or if I click on it, it pulls out a whole shelf. So you can then click on that and go to that video. I can close that shelf by clicking the X. So you can see that that card still exists on this video, even though I'm not at that timestamp. Right now I'm at the five second mark and I could still click on the eye icon and see my BuzzFeed card right there. It's not until we actually roll over this mark here that that little eye icon turns into a more active button. So let's go ahead and add another kind of card. I'm going to add one earlier, maybe around the 30 second mark of the video. I'll click add card. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead and add a link to an approved website. I'm going to click on that. And you're probably wondering, how do I make sure my website is approved to link to? Well, here you have a list right here. You can link to an associated website a merchandise site, or a crowdfunding site. These all have links to point you in the right direction for the kinds of sites that are allowed. This also has a link directly to your settings so you can set up your website as an approved domain. You can see my website at vidseo.com is good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that one in. So you can see we have a little more to play around with here. We have a card title, a call to action, teaser text, and an image. Once I have this link for my website in, you'll see that YouTube will automatically pick up some images that I have on my site. I'm going to go ahead and change that because I want it to be a little bit more eye catching. I'm going to go ahead and upload my own video. Any kind of a square image works best. This one was just a 300 by 300 image and this is for my fast forward report. So the card title is going to be at the top of the card once that shelf opens up. So let's just say Fast forward report. Now the call to action. Order today. Now the teaser text is what that eye icon in the corner will turn into once the video gets to that certain timestamp. So I'm going to say, get your YouTube audit. Now that I have this all set up, I will click on create card. And there we can see it was added at the 30 second mark. At any point in time, you can see now that we have two out of our five cards that we can use per video. That's right, you can only use five of these. So use them wisely and make sure you time them out. You wanna make sure that they stand out and have enough time and room to breathe. So let me show you that associated website one, what that looks like once we click. So I'm gonna scroll back a little bit and hit play. So watch what happens up here when we hit the 30 second mark. Get your YouTube audit. I can click that and there you can see the card we created and everything while our video continues to play in the background. I can also continue to scroll and there's our second card. So you can really see all the cards a video has before they get to that point in the video. It's another great way to add some additional information or links to websites and really support the call to action of your video. Once you have your card set up the way you like, you're done. There's nothing to save, it's good to go.